Aortic valve stenosis is a process in which the aortic valve, which is one of the four valves of the heart, becomes calcified and stiff. It's supposed to open and close easily as a doorway to let blood out of the heart. When that valve becomes stiff and narrowed, we call that aortic stenosis. The transcatheter aortic valve replacement procedure is performed on patients with severe aortic valve stenosis, which occurs when the aortic valve in your heart functions poorly, usually due to calcification. Here you see a valve that is not opening well because it is severely calcified, restricting the leaflet motion that supports healthy blood flow. To perform the TAVR, or transcatheter procedure, a guide wire is inserted in the femoral artery and threaded up through the aorta and around the aortic arch. The wire is then passed through the stenotic aortic valve and into the left ventricle. A balloon catheter is then passed over the wire into the stenotic aortic valve. The balloon is inflated, opening up the stenotic valve, breaking up the calcification and freeing the leaflets. All of this is in preparation for the transcatheter valve to be inserted. What you see here is the first stage in that process with the catheter going into the femoral artery. In the second stage, the catheter moves through the artery, around the aortic arch, over the guide wire, and into the stenotic valve. The new valve, which has been tightly compressed up to this point, is ballooned open, pushing diseased leaflets out of the way, and leaving a new, functioning aortic valve inside of the original valve. The wire is then removed. Here you can see the leaflets of the aortic valve opening and closing, restoring normal blood flow through the valve. An alternative procedure for those whose leg arteries cannot accommodate the catheter involves inserting the guide wire, the balloon catheter, and the valve through the apex of the heart. This is done by making a small incision in the left side of the chest between the ribs. The new valve is placed directly inside the calcified valve. The balloon catheter and valve are then inflated, which opens the stenotic valve, breaks up the calcification, frees the leaflets, and restores normal blood flow. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement is one of the newer, less invasive procedures that is revolutionizing cardiac care. In patients at high risk for complications from traditional aortic valve replacement surgery, we can replace a diseased heart valve with a new one without open heart surgery. This catheter-based procedure is similar to others the cardiology team at UC Davis uses to insert stents during angiography. TAVR provides an important option for those who cannot have traditional open heart procedures. Since without surgery, Severe, symptomatic aortic valve stenosis is ultimately fatal. TAVR is truly changing the way we think about patients with aortic valve stenosis and giving them a second chance at life. If we can replace your heart valve through the groin or minimally invasive ways, five or so days in the hospital, and immediate recovery over the first two weeks. UC Davis was the first hospital in the Sacramento area to offer transcatheter aortic valve replacement and we will continue to lead the way in providing groundbreaking treatment options to patients with heart and vascular disease.